And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, some very interesting things about the flooding on the Wildcat Creek. We had two crests on it. One was Thursday night, one was Friday night, and they were both about the same. I think the Friday night crest uh, was about 19 and a half feet, but Thursday night it was 19.6 feet. That is not too far off from what we call major flood stage at 25 feet. Now the Wabash crested today at 19.1 feet. So the Wabash crest was lower than the Wildcat Creek crest, largely due to that ice jam backing up the water and causing that water to rise so much and diverting it uh, towards those homes. So you don't normally see the crest higher on the Wildcat Creek than the Wabash, but it happened this time and that crest of 19.6 is the eighth highest on record and the highest crest since the 22 foot crest we had in April of 2013 during the major flooding. Light snow tonight with a clipper. It'll last to early tomorrow morning. Then the record cold settles in. And with that record cold settling in, we may have a substantial snowfall event in early March. I think in that first four day period, we may get several inches of snow. This will not produce several inches, but it may coat things one inch or less. There's the viewing area. There are the clouds streaming in from the northwest. And there's the core of the light snow in Iowa. Minnesota, Nebraska, all moving southeast at the present time. Tonight we'll drop into the teens, 14 Remington, Fowler, 15 at Lafayette, 17 Frankfurt, and 18 at Crawfordsville. The wind will crank up too, so the wind chill will drop below zero. And tomorrow, a windy day. Wind chills near zero, if not a little below that, with 20 Winnemac, 23 Lafayette, 25 at Lennon and Romney, 24 Attica. And Wednesday, with strong winds, 20, 25 miles an hour, Wind chills in the morning, 25 below, and by afternoon around 10 below, with highs upper single digits to around 11. To put it into perspective, the normal high for this time of year, low 40s. A few snow showers in our southern counties by 1230, but then the bulk of this comes in overnight. That's about 240 in the morning, but it gets out of here tomorrow morning. We, little, we get a little sunshine tomorrow afternoon. And with maybe a, a isolated flurry or two, and then we drop to near zero tomorrow night. And even into Wednesday, it's still very cold. Again, that high near 11, but at least we'll get a little bit of sunshine. Tonight, one inch or less of snow expected. Just enough to slicken it up a little bit tomorrow morning for the rush hour. And then the cold, boy, flows in. Uh, this is going to be the, some of the coldest weather we've seen in early March in a couple of decades. With overnight lows dropping low zero, perhaps a little below that. And then we watch by later this upcoming weekend, low pressure coming out of Texas may spread accumulating snow across the area. It's too early to tell exact timing nor how much, but I can tell you the data supports an accumulating snow with perhaps several inches. We'll keep an eye on that. Thursday 17, 2 on Friday morning, and we stay way below normal right through next week. There's the snow coming in on Sunday and gradually coming to an end on Monday. The good news is, even though this is going to be a really tough stretch of cold and we will have snow in the forecast, it won't last that long. When you look at the scheme of things with this winter, we could be back into the 40s by around March 7th or 8th with, unfortunately, more thawing, more ice issues. We'll keep you posted. All right, Chad, thank you. Sure. Purdue basketball tonight in sports, Rob. That's right. Not a good showing yesterday from the guys. Plus, Sterling Carter went down with a knee. That's not good. Coming up, we'll hear...